what we're going to make sure that we open safely. And by the way, all you teachers out there, not that many of you are going to die, so don't worry about it. So don't worry about it. Come on. President Trump, let me follow up with you quickly. By the way, I will say this. If you go and look at what's happened to New York, it's a ghost town. It's a ghost town. And when you talk about plexiglass, these are restaurants that are dying. These are businesses with no money. Putting up plexiglass is unbelievably expensive, and it's not the answer. I mean, you're going to sit there in a cubicle wrapped around with plastic. It's, these are businesses that are dying, Joe. You can't do that to people. You Which just can't. Good. Take a look at New York and what's happened to my wonderful city for, for so many years. I loved it. It was vibrant. It's dying. Everyone's leaving New York. Take a look Vice at President what New York has done in terms of the turning the curve down in terms of the number of people dying. And I don't look at this in terms of the way he does. Blue states and red states. They're all the United States. And look at the states that are having such a spike in the coronavirus. They're the red states. They're the states in the Midwest. They're the states in the upper Midwest. That's where the spike is occurring significantly. But they're all Americans. They're all Americans. And what we have to do is say, wear these masks, number one. Make sure we get the help that the businesses need that has money's already been passed to do that. It's been out there since the beginning of the summer, and nothing's happened. President, New York has lost more than 40 